Welcome to our lecture online. The first two cases on how to graph a line given either two points or the x and y intercept are pretty straightforward, so we're just combining them into one video. So here we have an example where a point is given, 2 and 5, that's an x and y coordinate, and a second point is given, 1 and 8. So how do you graph the line that has those two points on it? We simply put the two points on the x-y plane and then see what happens. The first point is x equals 2 and y equals 5. So that's the point x2, y5. The second point is x equals 1, y equals 8, which is right up here. So notice, if we go straight down, we hit the x-axis at x equals 1. Here we hit the x-axis at x equals 2, the y-axis at y equals 5, and the y-axis at y equals 8. So now all we need to do is connect those two points and we have the line that contains those two. Now where exactly we cross the x-axis, we may not have quite done that correctly because we did some freehand drawing, but notice it's probably going to be somewhere, let's see, two, uh, three, uh, it's probably closer to, I think if I come straight down, it's probably going to be, uh, I keep on moving my, there we go, it's probably a little bit more like that, but it's hard to do, and getting the exact value, of course, is not going to be easy if you do freehand drawing without a ruler and you don't have the exact scale down there. But that's pretty well what the line will look like given those two points. Now, the x and y intercept, we do the same thing. The x, x intercept means where it crosses the x axis at x equals 4, and the y intercept is where it crosses the y axis at y equals negative 2. Again, we end up with two points, we connect those two points like so, and now we have the graph that's represented by those two intercepts. So here we're given two points, there we're given two intercepts. You find those locations on the x-y plane, you connect the two with a line, and that is how we graph them. Of course, you don't get the exact graph, because if you want to know where it crosses the x-axis here and where it crosses the y-axis, you're not going to get an absolute exact value for that. You need to work it out numerically, but it gives you a rough idea what the line looks like, and that is how it's done.